thing I want to show is, uh, let me uh, log out of here. And let me show, I used Paul Johnson. Just check out this internal user type, Chester Rakes. Chester Rakes is a salesperson. So as a salesperson, you're not automatically cross-referenced against an address book. Uh, Chester has five accounts. So Chester can do, you know, impersonate this customer. Chester could be on their iPad laptop at the customer. Maybe they want to use something like grid ordering. What's grid ordering? Grid ordering is different ways of creating the order. And let me create a couple of line items here and a couple of quantities. Make this two, make this three, do an update. Uh, there we go. Notice I'm not going through a conventional, this is a salesperson. They don't want to go through the shopping cart and the checkout process. They just want to come in here and say, you know, I want to uh, submit this order. And that order is created in J.D. Edwards. Another user type, Kim Dole. So Kim Dole is a CSR. So you might have users that, you know, you want to put the order on hold, and they, they release it. <clears throat> so as an example, this order is on hold right now, uh, which is a hold code in J.D. Edwards. I can release it. A CSR might also want to, you know, search against the address book and impersonate a customer. Uh, they're on the phone. A customer wants to do online bill pay. In fact, let's do that. I'm here. Kim Dole now is uh, working against 4242, come into uh, open invoice and payments, and the customer uh, says, okay, uh, I want to pay this invoice, and I want to pay this invoice. And by the way, we have nifty functionality in our portal. Let me show you that real quick. There's a print button. So a lot of people with invoices, they've got PDF already there from, say, document management, create form, Optio. This is uh, some nifty code that's just auto PDF create. So we can do this. And that, that PDF was created on the fly. Let's come back here to <coughs> portal functionality such as online bill pay. And so now this is, um, I can do a split payment here. I can come in here and there's uh, three profiles. And by the way, the tokens that you receive back, I showed like working against um, a cardholder data within the gateway, tokens are not cardholder data. And it allows you to simply then use those tokens. So I'm going to do an authorized payment here. Not sure if any of those cards are bad. They might be. But no, it was authorization success. In fact, if I was to now come in here and show payments for this customer, there we can see uh, the RI uh, applied, uh, 102 and 276. Those are the two invoices that I selected. I can come here and show subscriptions. Uh, well, subscriptions uh, statements is a little bit better. We do have sub subscription functionality and their statements. So once again, um, yeah, there's the statement functionality. And what I wanted to do for the remaining portion is there's a lot more I haven't shown. I can come in here, check price and availability. <clears throat> and once again, the processing options, do you want to you know, work across one or multiple? So what we're showing here, on top of all of our grids, we have uh, Excel uh, export. I'm only being able to show like 10% because I focused on one specific area. 